And I think with regards to Mamelodi Sundowns, I think uh, they will be disappointed. I mean, they will be disappointed at the fact that um, they exited the Netbank Cup, especially considering the performance that they put out against Orlando Pirates. And now they came up against a TTM that just was not going to break down at all. And now they've exited two TTM. If you had asked me once upon a time that they were four semi-finalists, which is Chipa, which is Pretoria Kelly's, which is TTM, which is Mamelodi Sundowns, you definitely would have said Mamelodi Sundowns is going to win that cup. But now they're out of that cup, and I'm sure they will be disappointed at the fact that last season they won the treble. In this season, they've bolstered their squad, and uh, they've exited the MTN, they've exited the, the Netbank Cup, and now what is left to play for is just the league and the CAF Champions League, which I think both of them, they can still definitely win. The league, I think that one is a for sure one. Um, but one thing that will be interesting with the game regarding Amazulu on Wednesday, that's going to be interesting. I tweeted to say that they've played um, three games within seven days. And on the third game, they've went into extra time and they have lost as well that game. And they go up against Amazulu. And I know there's a lot of people that are saying, yeah, but Mamelu Sanaz have a big squad. That's why they bought so many players. True, I can't argue with you with regards to that. But when you're playing an Amazulu side that's in that form, you want your best players to be on that pitch. And the likes of Tembazwane, who've played a lot of minutes as well. Does he rest him? Who've played Shaulile as well, who played the whole game today. You know, what happens then? You want your best players on the pitch. And those best players have played a lot of football in the last seven days. So fatigue could definitely creep in. Do they have players that they definitely can replace them with? Without a shadow of a doubt. But I think Amazulu and Ben Makati will be looking at this and saying we have to outrun them we definitely have to outrun Mamelodi Sanos because even in this game against Chakuma you could just see towards the in, into the second half and even into extra time you could just see a very leggy uh, Mamelodi Sanos so I think Amazulu and Ben Makati will probably be looking at this and saying this is an opportunity for three points and I can tell you now that game on Wednesday is gonna be absolutely massive